Hello, so a lot of people have been emailing me asking me about Soundation, how it works, how they get logged on and things like that. So I'm going to create as few uh, videos for you just to show you the basics of Soundation, how to use it, how to get started with it. And also later on, hopefully we'll start looking into MIDI and using effects and things like that. But the main focus of today in this video is just to show you how to get onto Soundation. So first thing you're going to need is either a Windows or a Mac computer. Okay. So that's the first thing you need. It doesn't matter if it's Windows or Mac, it will work. So you go onto Google, type in Soundation Studio. It's the one that says Soundation Studio, Soundation, make music online. Okay, once you click that, you'll be greeted with this screen. Now, this is where the confusion is lied for a lot of you. If you worked with a partner last time and you cannot log in with your school email account, that will be most likely because the person you worked with actually used their account to log in to use Soundation. If that's the case, you need to sign up. So to do that, at the bottom right, it says sign up. Okay, you want to go to the bottom one where it says free. On mine, randomly, it says unavailable, but I know that's not the case because we all use it anyway. But there you go. Once you click um, on the free one, it will come up with this screen here okay so when you log on with your computer with your email you should be able to select free now obviously on the screen I've just showed you it says that that's unavailable that shouldn't be the case I don't know if it's because I'm already logged in already using this account for this video so sign up you need to use your school email okay so when you come into the login screen you need to use your school email in this section, okay? It'll ask you for your email, your password, and also it might ask you for something like your name, okay? Please remember your password, okay? Can't stress it enough. I've had a couple of students ask me what their password is. Me, Mrs. Young, Mr. Coles, Mrs. James, etc., etc. in the school, we teach over 600 students pretty much a week, if not more, okay? We will not remember your, your password. So you need to choose something that you will remember. However, if you don't remember it, if you click on forgot password, okay, and you type in your email, click reset password, they should send you a link to that email address for you to actually change your password. So if you email any of the teachers to ask for the password, unfortunately, we will not be able to tell you what it is, just to clarify that as well. So click Foundation. You're up there. This is the screen you will get. You'll get a nice picture of Justin Bieber for some reason, but there you go. Top left, click Studio. This will come up, and it will load up this screen. Okay, let's give it a minute. Right, so it will load up with Start from a Template, New Song, Open Song, and down here it says Example. You probably won't have that because that is a recent song that I've already created before. So you want to click on New Song. And then some of you will get a little box that comes up here. I've not got that at the moment. And it will say, take a free tour and things like that. You want to click on the box that says, do not show this again. And then in the top left of that box, there is the smallest gray X. You want to click that gray X, click that, goes off, and then you will be greeted with this screen. So the first thing I want you to do is click on where it says simple synth. I want you to right click and delete the channel. So we're left with just one audio channel, okay? That's all I want to see at the start. Now, down on the right side here, you've got dubstep pack, hip hop pack, this is house, lo-fi dreams, my personal favorite, trap, hip hop, EDM, drum and bass, etc., etc., etc. They are basically they are the sounds you create. So say for example, you wanted to create um, a lo-fi uh, sound so when you click on this, it's come opened up the folder, okay? So let's do that again. So you click there, opens up this folder. If you click one of these, you're greeted to a bit of music, okay? Now one thing that is very, very important that a lot of people have not thought about is on the right-hand side, it says 85 BPM. Now that means 85 beats per minute. That means that it... Everything you drag in there needs to play to that speed. It means there are 85 beats per minute in the song, okay? 
So the idea is, is that if it's 85 BPM, you want to choose every audio file to match 85 BPM. So for now, all I want you to do is click in Lo-Fi Dreams Pack or whichever one you want to choose. If you click on This Is House, it says 125 BPM. Same process, okay? You want to choose everything that matches that BPM for now. So let's go back to Lo-Fi Dreams. So I'll use that, grab that in, okay? And there it is. Some of you may have noticed that at the bottom when I started, this here was actually at 120. Now notice that that there doesn't fill up to the end of a grid. So that's a grid, the number six. It doesn't fill all the way out, okay? But if I put in 85 there and press enter, it fits it in into the nice four blocks, okay? That is your BPM. So if you ever need to change it, you can click there and you can type that in. So now that it's in there, we'll press the space bar and it plays as part of the song that we've created, okay? Now, what I would do, and I would really get into the habit of this, is then double click where it says audio channel, and I know it's a keys organ, so I'll just call it keys organ for now, okay? That means that I'll always know what's there. That's basically a way for us to know what instrument is put in there. So now, what you'll notice, if I try and drag strings, okay, and I want to put them in, I can't do it. So you need to go at the bottom left, add channel, audio channel. Then, effectively, you can then start to drag in, okay? So what I'm going to use actually here is I'm going to bring in a nice bass, okay? One thing that you'll have in every genre of music is bass and drums, especially, well, in electronic music, pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time you're going to have bass and drums, okay? So you want to make sure that you've got bass and drums in your song because that is kind of, that is like the sponge, if you will, to the cake, okay? The keys and things like that, that's kind of like the icing. It's a terrible example in some respects, a bit cheesy, but that's how it works. So I know that I want some drums now. So, I don't want just the hi-hat. Oh, that's not too bad. Actually, I yeah, did one earlier that I thought was quite nice. All right, let's try that. So, you'll notice that when I drag these in as well, sometimes they kind of go in and stretch out, okay, to make it work. So, let's see how this all begins to sound together. Okay, so there's not really enough there, I don't feel. The bass, it works with the, with the drums, but might be worth actually carrying on keys organ. Now, because I've already had that for four bars, I could always use a different keyboard sound to change into. So maybe if we use this one. Or is that, no, it's not the same, because you can tell it's not the same because the web files are different. So let's see how that works. Not overly convinced, if I'm honest with you. So, I'm going to get rid of that bass. I just don't feel like the bass is very good, to be honest. So, if we go out and I think, right, I want a bass, I can look at what key my music is in. So, if I click on Lo Fi Dreams, it turns out we're in the key of C. If you look over to the far right, there's C, 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 D, C, D, D, B, all down that right side. That is your key. If you have music where you choose one that says C and another one that says B, it will probably not sound right. So again, kind of like your 85 BPM, you need to stick with the C if that's the one that you've gone for, okay? So let's type in here C in the sound library. That will bring up all the different sounds. Okay, so I can see already that some basses are loading up. Let's see if we can find a nice bass in C on this list. I'm having the best of looks so far. Mm. 
video game in that. I'll tell you what, let's ignore the base for now and we'll add another organ actually. Awesome Dumas. Let's go back to Lo-Fi Dreams pack. We've also got strings. Let's add those in. So, we'll add those instead. Right, so let's see how that sounds. We know that sounds, so let's skip it forward. That's that's a lot better. Okay. So the last thing I want to really introduce you to for this, okay, for this first lesson, is just to change the colours. Because that can also help with it. So if you right click on here, it's got white, ocean, green, etc. If I click orange, changes it to orange. Same with all the other colours here. White is the default ocean, so we'll change that to a different one anyway. That way, that's another nice way for you to also remember what is going on there. So the sound that I was going for was a lo-fi kind of drum sound. Now that traditionally sounds like this. It's quite nice study music. If anyone's interested, go on YouTube. Lo-fi hip hop is really good. Okay, so that's enough of that. So if we go back to what I've got here, similar vibe actually to what we've just been listening to which is the aim so what you might want to do is listen for a song okay so what you could do before you start is when you look at this list you can type in um, on YouTube dubstep hip-hop this is uh, house music uh, lo-fi uh, dreams and things like that hip-hop and it will give you an idea for the sound you're going for so that's it for today what I want you to do after this video go on to Soundation start dragging some files across create some music, see what you think. It's trial and error, okay? The first time you go through this, it might not sound right. When I put that bass in, it sounded pretty awful. Okay, but in the end, we got something that worked quite nicely. So if you can't find your sound straight away, don't give up. And remember to stick to the same BPM and also stick as well to the same key if possible. Okay, thank you very much. I'll be back with another video afterwards. Cheers, guys.